I started to make our own alpaca coats for the animals on our farm. During the first winter that we had alpacas here, I noticed that one of our females, it happened to be our oldest female, was shivering. I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't sure what to do. So I went online to one of the instructional websites about alpacas, and I remember reading, at the first sign of shivering, put a coat on the alpaca. Well, I didn't have a coat, and so I researched further, and I found suppliers where I could purchase one. But I had the thought that maybe I could try something to help this animal right away. I went to a bedroom closet, and I found an old raincoat. And my uh, brain started thinking of what I could do. I tried um, taking the old raincoat, and I cut it into large sections to start out with. To do this, I cut right along the seam, and I ended up with a large portion of, of fabric. I did the same thing in another large section, and so forth. Then I took all of the pieces that I had just cut up, and I shaped them into what would become the outside layer of my coat. That worked pretty well, and I kept going. I found an old blanket, and I shaped this as well into a middle layer, and I found another blanket that was softer and used that for the layer that would be closest to the alpaca. So then I ended up with three layers, which I sewed together. But I needed something on the outside edge of all of these layers, and this is what I ended up doing. I made a binding. To do this, I cut up some more of the pieces that were still left from the old raincoat. And with the pieces, I made strips, a very long strip, sewing little sections of the strip together. And this strip would be about three inches wide and very, very long. It could be up to 50 inches in length. And then take this strip and fold it in the middle. I folded it and also ironed it so that it would stay um, into a, a, a steady fold. Then each half of this strip I folded towards the middle like this. And then I ended up with three folds that became a binding. With this binding, it worked really well to go on the whole outside edge of the alpaca coat. And then I needed one more important thing. I needed a way to keep it on the animal. And looking at the picture from the suppliers, I realized that Velcro would work really well, so I made a Velcro to fasten underneath the front of it to be underneath the neck of the animal. And then another Velcro, which would go on the side of the coat, and then this could go under the belly of the apaca. Um, and it would be a little bit adjustable if there was a smaller or larger one. So that first coat turned out pretty well, but it wasn't shaped quite right. The piece that went under the female's neck was drooping a little. So I remember thinking it looked a little weird, but I kept it on. It was functional. And then I started to think about other animals that might also be cold. And I went to a thrift shop bought more old raincoats and did the same thing. As I made more coats, I improved the shape and it turned out a whole lot better. Also, as the winter um, was ending, I prepared for spring births because Kriyas will need a coat. Even on a, a warm summer day, if you've got a breeze or it starts to rain, that newborn Kriya can get cold. And so I made several Kriya coats, 
so that we would have enough for all of our birthings that summer. And the following winter I made more. Now we're into our third winter and I'm pretty well prepared for the amount of animals that we have in case some of them would be getting cold as the winter um, temperature drops. I don't believe that all, all alpacas need to have a coat. If the um, alpaca is healthy and has lots of fleece, they're probably just fine. But I keep my eye on the creas that have been born that summer and this is their first winter. They just need that extra help, that extra protection from the cold. And I also watch the pregnant females. They're using up lots of energy. And uh, they may also just need that extra little bit of help. So it takes a little time to do this type of project. And um, it, it turns out really well. It's a resourceful way to help your animals out with colder weather. Have fun with it. Try it. I'd be happy to just share my ideas. And I hope that um, you'll try it even on pets or alpacas. Thanks.